Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to the start of the second season of my Manchester United Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. I know you guys have been wanting to see this season get underway and also from this episode basically I'll be uploading at least one episode per day. It should be one every day, maybe two some days if you're lucky but I do want to finish the second season, get it done before the release or the early release of FIFA 17. I don't want to like leave it halfway like during the season, so you should be seeing uh, this uploaded fairly regularly for the next few weeks. And also, you know when I do get into a new season, I basically have the same setup. Do you enjoy it? Like, is this a good kind of way to introduce the new season? I show you the transfers, then I get into the first game of the season. It's fairly simple, but I don't know. Would you want to see me present it differently? Maybe going into FM17, uh, but I think, yeah, it's been a pretty good way so far. No one has really complained about it. But either way, we're going to go through the changes, and quite a few changes. There was more than I expected, uh, to be honest. There was players I did want to sell, uh, which I did end up doing and also bring in, but we will go through that. Uh, the biggest transfer going out of the window was one Mata to Real Madrid. Again, I didn't really intend to sell him, but he was he was good for us. He was good for us, but then, yeah, Real Madrid, and he even came to me. like When Real Madrid showed their interest, he said, yeah, he wanted to go. So I listened to the offer. At the start of this save, I was willing to sell him. Last season, he was fairly consistent. He was a good player for us. Like, I can't say anything bad about him. But we did get $40 million for him, which was a good price. Uh, we go by the fee again. Uh, you can see Ashley Young. He moved to Swansea for $7.5 million. Was happy. I think that's a decent amount for him. And also, Jesse Lingard, Middlesbrough, made a $6.5 million offer. And I think, yeah, that was a decent amount for him as well. We played him in some games last season. So, obviously, that showed uh, a team like Middlesbrough that he can be a good enough player and put in a bid of $6.5 million, which I think, as I said, is a reasonable amount for him. And then Michael Carrick to move on to Southampton, just yeah, couldn't really find a way into the team, and not really good enough anymore for the level we need, really. And with Pogba coming into the team, and we just let a heap of players go pretty much on free transfers and some others out on loan that wouldn't, yeah, still wouldn't be good enough for the first team. And of course, you know, I did sign Geronimo really on the free transfer. For me, uh, he's a must. In If you're a big team and you want to make the best signings, at least for a goalkeeper, he's just right up there. You almost, you have to sign him unless you've signed him before and you don't want to for that reason. Might be boring, but in terms of financially, it's it's an amazing deal because he's a world-class goalkeeper. He's probably top 10 in the game, I would say, because of his age. He only gets better. Um, yeah, I gave him the number 16. I wasn't sure for the backup goalkeeper. He's still going to be back up to De Gea, but we will play him in some games so it doesn't hurt his development, even though this will be the last season I'm playing. And also with Pogba, 71 million, cheaper than he was in real life. And if you're wondering why he just wasn't here from the start, in the transfer upload or transfer update, I downloaded, I should say, he wasn't on it because it was before he officially joined Manchester United. Uh, but it was a good price because it was his release clause in the game, actually. So you're happy with that. He comes in and he's improving already. That's scary. And then also Marco Royce, who I only signed because I ended up selling one matter, gave me a bit of extra cash. And yeah, I was able to sign that really big player. If not, I was going for someone like a Willian. William from Chelsea who was transfer listed and I just cancelled. <laughs> I cancelled that basically as I saw, uh, yeah, the one Mata deal was going to go through, gave me a bit more cash to play with and went, yeah, Marco Royce who is definitely the better player, can play in a lot more positions naturally, like down the left side and right side, can play striker if needed and he's a player I absolutely love, Marco Royce, uh, fantastic. So hopefully you're happy with those signings. Uh, really won't play so much. De Gea is probably a bit better right now. But then you got like these are two world class players that's going to come into the team. And we yeah we went you you got to be honest one matter you'd say he's world class. And also for the formation we play as well is probably more suitable for Marco Royce to play like a natural wing position. And obviously Paul Pogba to come in 
into the team. It's it's a very, very good move. So uh, not too much else to speak of, but there has been some manager movements. I'll just go with a key one. Arsenal, Guardiola got actually sacked from Manchester City and he's moved on to Arsenal and I believe Arsene Wenger retired uh, from my memory. So there's that. And if you're new to this series, I'll just show you. And I don't know what has happened here, why this table is so long. And there's, it's so it's like uh, I think it's sorted by the away games, like home and away, and then all the games. I don't know, but either way, we'll go to the previous season, so you know what I'm talking about. It, yeah, I just <laughs> just ignore how it's kind of set out. But Manchester City uh, ended up finishing fifth. They didn't make Champions League, and there you go. Manager got sacked, and <laughs> as simple as that. And then he moves to Arsenal, who finished second. Uh, but yeah, I think yeah, Wenger left on his own terms, but we shall get straight in. And if you know how to change the league table like that, I'm not sure if it's just my skin, uh, but yeah, that's just the way it is when you go to see the whole outlook, if you want to see the full table, but you can see it nice and neatly there, you just can't see the goals for and against. But anyway, uh, not that big of a deal in the preseason. We had some good games, and I personally arranged uh, Wayne Rooney, testimonial game against Everton and he actually scored early in that game so it was very nice for him then Rashford scored a couple late goals and he was on fire in pre-season you can see all the goals he scored he scored nine in nine <laughs> uh, very exciting season uh, for him uh, coming up so uh, we've got Liverpool in this first game uh, what a way to kick things off and also Marco Royce has a bit of an injury he's recovering from his injury and he's been called up on international duty which yeah, not really happy about that. Hopefully, he doesn't re-injure because he's just coming back. He's going to be fully fit in one day. Hopefully, yeah, they don't play him. Just, there should have been an option to yeah not let him go, uh, to be honest. Uh, also, Adnan Yanezai came back from being on loan, so he's going to uh, deputize today for him. That's where Royce will generally play. And this looks like a pretty solid team. Now we can play Herrera and Pogba. That's so, oh, that's so good because Herrera was playing sometimes is the advanced playmaker, sometimes change the role to deep playing playmaker. And then Yanazai, who actually looks pretty good. He looks very good. His passing is good, dribbling. So I'm really excited to see how he goes. Obviously still has potential in him, only 21. I think he'll have a very good season. Mikitarian is going to hopefully <laughs> do well uh, this season for us. He made a decent impact. Pretty good. Pretty good first season for us. But yeah, this squad, like this starting 11 looks really good, but the squad as a whole, I'm really liking the look of it. I honestly think my goal for this season is to win the league and Champions League. That's the two big things. So hopefully uh, we can kick things off well with a victory here today against Liverpool. <laughs> what a massive game. You can see their lineup, uh, Sturridge, uh, Firmino, Nasri's there, left midfield, Anyone else that's notable or different anyway, not really. But I like to think we should be able to beat Liverpool if we want to be a Champions League contender. But it is the first game of the season. Uh, it's away from home. It's not going to be an easy game. Uh, Dan Sturridge, I think we're going to tight mark him. Anyone else? Uh, I want to tight mark their dangerous players pretty much. I'll leave Nasri, uh, Coutinho. They're playing Coutinho's central midfield position. He can play there, but I probably prefer him to be out wide or attacking midfielder where Firmino is. But I shall leave it like that. For me, their wingers are not completely dangerous in terms of pace. Like, Simi Nasri, he is... A dangerous player still, but his pace is only 14. Then, obviously, James Milner, he's not that quick himself. So, yeah, I don't think pace is an absolute threat. Like, yeah, 12 pace, but more so, yeah, uh, Nazri than Milner. But, yeah, Nazri is a more creative player. Uh, he's good with the ball, uh, technically gifted. And also, I changed some player numbers uh, for this upcoming season. And also, with one matter leaving, I had... Yeah, it was a bit different because I had one matter at number eight because when I started this save, I wasn't sure the numbers because they weren't confirmed for the upcoming season in real life. But yeah, basically, Marco Royce has got number eight now, uh, <laughs> just so you know that. But I'm going to say, oh, this is like the first game of the season. Come on, like passionately. I expect a win today. Yeah, this season, like I'm putting expectations on myself, like... I haven't won the Champions League <laughs> in FM uh, 16, so there's expectations on that. We've got to do it here, and this is 
really my final season I'm going to play of FM16, you know, with FIFA 17 coming out. So, yeah, this is massive for me. And now it's Rooney with the corner. Could we score early? Oh, that's going to go in. Is that going to count? Yes, it's going to be an own goal, though, for Skirtle. How about that to kick things off? <laughs> Skirtle uh, concedes an own goal. 10 minutes, just 10 minutes in. It's a good start for us. It's a good start. It was a dangerous corner. A good ball by Wayne Rooney. Hopefully, he can have a good season. And hopefully, we won't have a bad patch. That's what troubled us last season. We had a bad patch, but I'm pretty confident uh, with this season. And of course, I will be playing those more games off camera as my last save and season and series going into FM17. I'll take a bit of a break when FIFA 17 is out because it won't make sense to be uploading FIFA 17 and then Football Manager 2016. Yeah, it won't really make sense. But yeah, for the most part, um, so you can understand or get a idea of how I'm going to be producing my videos uh, going into Football Manager 2017, which I already made a video of the kind of series I will be starting. So if you missed that, go check it out. Uh, but yeah, because I plan to do a long-term series and seasons, I wouldn't want them to probably be more than 10 to 12 episodes because I notice I still get comments. Like the last episode, someone said um, like really like 18 episodes for one season, which I don't think is a lot. I don't think uh, that's major, but yeah, other people might have different expectations as uh, Coutinho scores here. Uh, pretty disappointing there, to be honest. But yeah, like I mentioned, I think a lot of people compare me to other people who make Football Manager videos, and that's why I'm trying to honestly cut down. That's play more games off camera so I can shorten the episode's length in a season. Because, yeah, there's always someone who complains about that, to be honest. But that was pretty disappointing still to concede there. I felt, yeah, Liverpool, I wouldn't say they deserved that goal, uh, to be honest. Just that was their first shot on targets uh, for the game, and they managed to score from it. So pretty disappointing. But I always noticed this in the first few games of the season. We don't, yeah, look as good as obviously we are midway through the season or something like that. I'll say I'm far from pleased still. And obviously, phew, Come on, Luke Shaw. Why are you demotivated? And obviously, he's back. He had a bad injury last season. Hopefully, he won't yeah, have similar uh, this season. As you know, We've got Daily Blind still, but apart from that, we don't really have another left back that can come into a play, uh, come into play for us. So, yeah, that's disappointing. Of course, yeah, uh, one of our big signings anyway in Marco Royce is missing. He will definitely be more impact than Yanazai. Uh, you would have to agree, but hopefully can get the job done without him. Wayne Rooney. Rooney. Oh, that was poor. Come on, Mickey. What was that? <laughs> it's just like straight to the goalkeeper. I still think, though, uh, we can win. You, I feel we have better individual quality as a whole. They've got good individual players like Coutinho, Sturridge as well. For me, they're lacking support with Sturridge, and he just... <laughs> so, I feel, I feel we have that right there. Unless they bring on another striker, maybe. Might have to rethink that. But, yeah, I, th I personally feel he won't have the support to score another goal, <laughs> at least, Liverpool. Unless they just come up with something out of nowhere. Oh, but they have a corner here. Like I just said, maybe something out of nowhere. Maybe something out of nowhere, like a corner. Oh, that's disappointing. Alberto Moreno. And it's 2-1. I wouldn't want to lose here in the first game. Would not be a good start to the season. But, ah, oh, yeah, he's just all by himself, a corner. And like I said, a goal out of nothing could have been the way. But we may have to make a change here. Rooney. we got to bring on Rashford. And he, he does actually do well in the false nine role. It's one of his better roles, uh, to be honest. That will complete forward, but we already have Ibrahimovic complete forward. So he's already proven he does well there. And, well, Pogba, do we... Do we what? Do we Like, that's like an advanced position for him. That's probably the best role for him to play in. But maybe we'll put on the uh, attack duty so he can push forward a bit more uh, than Mickey. I'll just call him Mickey for now by his nickname. Easier, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, we'll go winger. You know, play a winger. Post a wide midfielder. Small change. Small change for now, but I reckon we're going to go attacking and higher tempo 
and we'll go more direct. We'll take play out of defense and work the ball into the box. We'll just be a bit more direct. Hopefully, those changes uh, will be able to freshen things up for us. Rashford, quick player coming on. Hopefully, could be the difference. Okay, come on. 30 minutes remaining. This could be a major highlight. Oh, what an interception, Pogba! To Ibrahimovic! Oh my god, that was amazing. I sure I thought that was going to lead to a goal. Oh, imagine if it leads to a goal for them. That will make sense. From amazing interception <laughs> by us. And that was crazy shot. It was another long shot attempted. It's still alive, though. Henderson, Firmino, Smalling does well. Like, defensively, we're on. Oh, oh, talk about on. Rashford could be on. Rashford! Oh, my God. Just a bit more experience, man. And he probably would have scored that. Wow. Come on. Oh, they've got the throw in here. It's Coutinho. Henderson. They look pretty dangerous outside of the box. It's Sturridge. It's Sturridge. And he almost makes it work. Oh, my. Because we need to go for a goal. So, obviously, when they're going forward, they're going to have some chances themselves. Uh, defensively, yeah, we're not going to make... Oh, could we bring on Valencia? Valencia, how good he's been this season, though, as a fullback in real life? I may do that. And you go instructions. Yeah, we've got to look for the overlap. Let's push up the wingers. It's all or nothing, pretty much, at this point, because we need a goal. Inside forward, ooh, could be, we'll go support, and Yanazai could be inside forward as well, so we'll change that up, <laughs> you almost think what's probably the point of having 4-2-4, I might as well, yeah, I might as well change to how that's set up, but yeah, different roles, you still got to change them up, we'll go deep line, play on support, and then Pogba again, uh, could loom as a dangerous player, advanced playmaker on attack, because I really think these wing back roles, especially for Valencia to suit him, but then, yeah, we've got to change the inside forward again uh, for Yanazai. Yeah, just support for now. Support from now. Still a good 25 minutes. Even if it just ends a draw, if we can get a goal back, just avoid defeat against Liverpool. Again, early game in the season. But you don't want to be going down to a rival. That's never a good way to start off a season. But I don't feel... Any team has been better than the other. I feel it's been equal. So I think it would be fitting if we score score a goal. But that's how I feel in Football Manager. You have to be better than your opponent to win the game. But clearly, yeah, you have to be clearly better. Because it's not often when it's a... Yeah, like that's my experience. Uh, when it's an equal game, you, you either lose or draw more than you win games. Oh, who do we... Oh, Yanazai is going to have to come off. Do we? Do we, do we, do we, do we go? Three strikers who bring on Anthony Martial. Bring him through the middle. Can we put him as a poacher? So we have all different roles going on? I think so. I think that could be the best. Uh, then Mickey will go as the attacking midfielder. Uh, what's his best role there? What? I feel as though just the advanced... We already got advanced playmaker. So we'll put him in the attack role in attacking midfield. We'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'm almost tempted. Can Luke Shaw play a left midfield position? Because then I'm tempted... Yeah, or he's, a co he's competent there. I'm really tempted to put him in that position and Valencia. Because we need a goal. If we kept it how it was... I have a feeling, in my experience in Football Manager, we wouldn't be uh, creating another highlight, unfortunately. And look, Valencia, that's a great position for him, uh, to be honest. Uh, playing at two centre-backs, maybe we can concede. But, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. We may not even have another chance if we uh, didn't do this. And maybe we'll even have to shoot on sight. And maybe we'll float in across because Ibrahimovic is there. May work out. Uh, roam from positions, be more expressive, and go route one. It's basically all or nothing right now. We'll pump the ball into the box just to get it forward. We need to right now. With changes like this, surely it's enough. It's like, what, 13, probably 15 minutes. Like, you can include the injury time. There has to be a highlight, surely. Come on. But still, our goal was our own goal as well, so you can't be too impressed with that. Uh, come on. It's smalling yellow car, come on. Maybe 
a team talk. Like I'm doing all these options now. Push forward as well. Come on. Come on, they got to show something. This is where goals come. Like last 15 minutes in games. But sometimes in Football Manager, they just... Okay, there is. I thought it was going to be one of the occasions where it's nothing. But maybe it's just us conceding. Will the team that's trying to defend score... <laughs> or the team that's trying to score, score? If that makes sense at all. Alan, come on. Tackle him. <laughs> and I'm getting this just into it. Just so we can get an equaliser. Which, a draw against Liverpool... Nothing to get too excited about. But can we do it? Can we build from the back? Come on. Can the risk pay off? Valencia, go on! Go on! Go on! Marcus Rashford! This is like real life, but it's not to win. It's a tap in to equalise. Come on, man. See, exactly what I said. We had to make that aggressive change. for. Oh, look how Ibrahimovic, he went for that. He wanted that. And I'll touch on that for a second as well. Rashford. He did that in real life. He got a tap-in. But it's more than just a tap-in. It's much more than that. It's getting in the right position. And actually, in real life, he made a good impact when he came on. He did much more than that. <laughs> but, yeah. Hopefully. Oh, imagine if we win! Imagine! Imagine! Oh, come on! No way. That's going to be it. That's going to be... I can't imagine they're going to score from this. Nah. We had the chance and we couldn't take it. But we avoided defeat at Anfield. It's always a tough trip. Um, yeah, definitely. To Anfield. But, assertively, I'm going to say I'm still far from pleased. But Rashford... Oh, he's fired up anyway. Yeah. Doesn't get a bad reaction when I kind of give a team talk like that. Shows you... Yeah, he's a very good player. <laughs> How about that Rashford, man? Well, hopefully, should the question is now, do we start him ahead of Rooney? Oh, it's hard to say that, you know. But yeah, we had to push the formation like that uh, to really get that late equaliser. And it was very late as well. It was just getting into uh, injury time. But we got it. And it's like, I'm excited. We just avoided defeat against Liverpool. But yeah, I felt, yeah, that was some good signs uh, to kick off the season for Rashford, at least. Something to get excited about. But that shall be it, guys, for this episode. So leave your thoughts on the transfers and obviously that performance. First game of the season. And <laughs> look at that. Look at that perfect preseason winning every single game. Um, obviously, yeah, first game of the season and once against Liverpool. That's hype. Both teams want to be winning. Liverpool would want to be winning as much as us. So we've got Fulham, Tottenham, let's see, Newcastle... Well, the Champions League, uh, probably next episode, will yeah, debut Champions League. So, we shall see how that goes. Is the draw for the group stages going to be anytime soon? Uh, no. So, yeah, we'll just leave it. We'll leave it at that for now. So, hopefully, you did enjoy uh, the episode. Uh, the next one, like I said, should be Champions League. I know, yeah, we'll play a bit more off camera, uh, like I said, so we can get through this season. And what I said about FM17, so you can kind of really get a gauge of how things are going to be, uh, because that's what you guys want to see for the most part, and by I say, you know, what I mean by that is, you guys complain, a lot of people complain that I don't go far into football manager seasons, I guess um, you'll say, so I'm going to try and yeah please you guys, I'm going to do what you really want to see, uh, but it'll be hard to please everyone because people will complain, oh, you're not playing every single game. And then, yeah, so you can't win. You can't win, really. So that's a bit disappointing. Or, or it's hard. It's something hard. You can't please everyone. But I guess, yeah, i got to do what the majority of people want. Uh, so hopefully that will be all good and you will enjoy that and shows that, yeah, I listen to you guys. Uh, but, yeah, to give you that kind of save that you've always wanted, I suppose, from me. So hopefully you'll enjoy that either way. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video though, and I'll see you guys next time.